Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick here, and today I have a cool video for you guys. I have my PS3 collection. I'm going to be running over my whole PS3 collection and showing, uh, telling you a little about, bit about each game. So, here, first we have Uncharted 2, Among Thieves. Now, this is one of the greatest games I've ever played. It's so much fun. This is a must-have for a PlayStation 3 owner. I mean, you can't go wrong with this game. Next, we have Toy Story 3. Now, I bought this just as a fun game to play, and um, it is kind of fun. It's one of those kiddie games that you could have fun with. Next, we got Skate 2. Now, I really like Skate 2. I had fun playing this. I haven't played it for a while, but when I did, it was definitely cool to create my guy, learn new tricks, and do crap like that. Next, we have Dead Rising 2. Now, I really like this just because you could run around the mall, kill zombies, create new contraptions to murder the zombies with, and it's definitely a fun game. Next, we have Oblivion. Now, this is one of my all-time most favorite games. I love Oblivion so much. It's so much fun. This is the Game of the Year edition, so it comes with the game, Knights of the Nine, and Shivering Isles all together for $30, and I think it's cheaper now. And... Oblivion is one of my most favorite games of all time, and uh, I'm definitely getting Skyrim Collector's Edition soon, probably within the next two weeks, so look at my channel for the unboxing of that. Next, we have Aragorn's Quest. Now, uh, I really like this game just because I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan, and uh, this game is pretty fun. It's more of a kiddie game, the way the graphics are and the way the gameplay is, but it's a fun game just to grab one of your friends and play for a little bit. Here we have Borderlands, Game of the Year Edition. Now, I really love Borderlands because it is a RPG with a first-person shooter. And I love playing online with this with my friends because it's a lot of fun. And um, you won't get bored. You get to upgrade your weapons, upgrade your guns, do all that stuff. And it's definitely a fun game. Next, we have Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Now, this is runner-up with um, Oblivion for my favorite game. And uh, this game's just so much fun to uh, travel around Rome, assassinate people, go through the story. This is definitely one of my favorite games. Probably does reach my most favorite game out there. Um, so I really love this game. I highly suggest picking this one up. This is a must-have for a PS3 owner or Xbox. Next, we have Red Dead Redemption. Now, this game's really fun. It's based on the old Western times, and it's an RPG where you get to wander around, get new weapons as, um, what's his name again? John Marston. So, uh, it's a really fun game, and if you like that type of thing, you should definitely pick one of these up. Next one, Sims 3. Now, the only thing that I was really disappointed with is in the PS2 version, you get to actually walk as your guy and interact this you're the overhead kind of like the pc version and with a ps3 remote kind of makes it hard to move so basically i built my house and then i haven't touched this game since next we have dc universe online now if you're a dc fan you should definitely get this it's really fun creating your hero traveling around the city interacting with real heroes and uh now it's free to play online so you can't really go wrong with this one Next we have Grand Theft Auto. Uh, I really like this game just because I like running around the city and killing people and doing stuff like that, getting in helicopters and cars. So um, I haven't really played the story, to be honest. I've just been running around, but it is fun. And my friends have played the story, and they say it's fantastic. Next, I have the Modern Warfare 3 Hardened Edition. Now, if you want to check out my unboxing, go ahead, go to my channel and check it out. And um, this game's really fun. It's definitely one of my favorite Call of Duties out there. And with the Hardened Edition, you get this nice steel bookcase. So uh, I definitely love this game. It's a really fun. The story mode's great. And if you're a Call of Duty fan and you don't have this already, go pick it up. Oh, my bad. Next, we have Black Ops. Now, um, everyone's hating on Black Ops after Modern Warfare 3 come, came out. But I still think Black Ops is a really cool game. And... It keeps you in action since you get a prestige a lot earlier than the other games, so you get more fun out of it. Um, 
zombie mode is basically the mode that I got this game for. It was my leading um, intention for this game. So if you want to play zombies and stuff like that, pick up Black Ops. Otherwise, if you want to play online, I'd go with the Modern Warfare uh, series. Now, Modern Warfare 2 is one of my favorite uh, Call of Duty games. It's probably up in the 1 or 2 range. And uh, it's really cool. you got special ops, multiplayer, the online's great. Um, I really liked it. The story's fantastic, too, because it leads on to Modern Warfare 3. Next, I have Sports Champions for the PlayStation Move. Now, go check out my PlayStation Move unboxing if you want. And uh, this game's pretty cool. Really, it doesn't have much. It only has, like, archery, I think, table tennis, volleyball, and frisbee, and something else, sword fighting. But um, it doesn't have a lot of um, expansion in this game. But it is cool since it does come with the um, PlayStation Move set. Next, I have Madden 11. And just like any other sports game, it's fantastic. It's definitely one of my favorite Maddens of all time. I really like this. So if you're a Madden fan, pick it up. But Madden 12 is already out, so I'd suggest going that way. Next, I have NHL 11. Same thing as Madden, one of the best hockey games. But NHL 12 is out, so I'd pick that up instead. And finally, we have Naughty Bear Gold Edition. Now, uh, this game's really funny just because you're a little teddy bear running around with knives and bats and guns killing other teddy bears. And it actually does get challenging, so don't let the um, title fool you. It actually does get challenging, but it is really, really fun. I really did enjoy playing this game, and I thought it was a great game to have. I still haven't beat it because with the Gold Edition, you get a lot of content, and you have a long story there. So uh, I hope you guys like this. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Check out my other collections like my Wii. And um, I have a few of these unboxings up on my channel, so go check out my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.